Hi, welcome back to my channel. Before I do any more to my traction engine, I thought I'd try this little electric metal melting furnace out. I'm going to melt some brass, make myself a little key ring. This little furnace apparently will melt gold and silver, brass, aluminium, copper, and anything that will melt within 1,150 degrees centigrade. So let's go and design myself a little key ring in the CAD. Right, so here's a little key ring I've done in SolidWorks. It's just a little simple thing with some raised letters for my name look and a raised outside. And a little lug to put a hole through for the key ring itself. What I'll do now is I'll get that printed out on a 3D printer. And here's the key ring that's being printed out on a 3D printer. So now I can use that as a little pattern to make my little sand mould to cast the brass. Right, so what I've got here is a pair of uh, moulding flasks. I've got some Petra Bond sand. There's my little plug pattern. So put that one over there a minute turn this one over what I've done is I've dusted this with a little bit of uh, talcum powder so the sand won't stick to that and it will be easier to get out of the sand now I'm going to place that in there now I can ram the sand home Right, so check there's some sand in there. More in there. Push that in tight a minute. Clean that off. Right, hopefully that's one side done. Let's turn it over. So there's the key ring in there. Right, so the next thing we're going to do, so the next half when you put that on, so the mould split so you can get the pattern out. You dust it with a little bit of powder. All I'm using is a bit of talc.
I know it's moved in there a little bit, but hey. And that's where I pour the brass in. So now we put the second half on. Do the same again. Right, now what we've got to do is try and lift this apart. Oh, there we are. So that's the top half. It's the key ring. So now what I'll do is I'll just cut a feed. Where I'm pouring the brass in there, the brass has got to go in to the actual keyring area when we take it out so let's just cut a little groove in there a little groove in there put that out What can I use to tighten that, bend that down in? Uh, use my finger, that's it. Right, it's there. And on this side I'll put a little cut in. So that wants to roughly be the matching pair there. So if I go there. Right there. There we are. Right. So that half's all right. Now I've got to um get this pattern right. See if I can get that out. Ooh. Let's get another blade. There we are.
Right, so there we are. So now, let's just push that off. That's my little key ring taken out of there. Then we should be able to just put that back together. What I'll do is I'll get a couple of little plates, one each side, and put a clamp on it. Lovely. Right, also what I'm going to do, when you're pouring the brass in there, there's going to be air in here. And what I've seen other people do is they've stuck a few little holes through. So I'm going to use this little drill. Push right through. I put several in. At the other side. Then what I'll do, I'll just scratch with a knife, just a little line through there. I don't know if this is necessary, but I'll do it. Never know. It should help push any air out. Right. That's that. So now I'll put that together, clamp it together, and then we'll turn the little furnace on, melt some brass. Right, there's the little mold all clamped up together. Stop it, come up to that. Right, I've preloaded the furnace with a some small bits of brass. Now we just got to wait for it to get hot. So the melting point of brass is 930, 935. So I've just got that set to 974 degrees centigrade. It's up at 452 now, look. Shouldn't be long, about like 35 minutes total to get up to that heat. Right, we're up to temperature now. So what I'm going to do, lift the top up, put some borax in, uh, scrape out the dross and then pour. Right, we are ready to pour.
let that cool down and see how it goes. Right. It's gone solid. See how it is. I'm not expecting anything great because I think it might have chilled too quick going in. See that? Right, I'll clean that up and we'll bloom and have a look at it. Oh, I'm happy with that. Whoops. Right, I've just brushed the um, sand off. That looks quite good. What I'll do now is I'll cut the sprue off there, file it all up. Then what I might do is fill the inside with some red enamel. And then polish it up so the name comes through the enamel. So here we have it from the design to the pattern to the finished item. I'm very pleased with how that come out. Little key ring fob for me.